we gotta do this. Hello citizens of the proud and mighty nation of Imperium Romania, welcome to the frontiers, we're playing Crusader Kings 2 and we, sh we have just installed an anti-pope and we're gonna go declare war on the pope, because I said so. We must claim the papacy for the, for the righteous pope. See, he abdicates. If you win, he abdicates. New Pope will become my vassal too. Yes, that is true. Alright, let's do this. We are the true Catholics, Pope. You are not a true Catholic. You all follow the false head of the religion. Of course it would be so much better if we could if we were able to put the possessed guy in the throne, but Alas, wasn't it? Imperial war for Pope Evaristus II's claim on the papacy. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Where's the second anti pope? Does he like me? Does, yeah, he dislikes me as well. Also has a strong claim on the, on the papacy. Yeah. Yes, yes. Where's my? Where are my ships? There are my ships. I want to fight his army. I want to find his army and fight his army. That's a lot of galleys there. Alright, 46,000 men. Uh, Gargamel can lead the charge. I guess Charles. Yeah, everyone, everyone's good here. Attack! We're gonna arrive in 10 days. We're not gonna make it. Shit. <clears throat> Just gonna check it. Yeah, we're not making it. But we're gonna make it over here. As he wants to land. Oh, he hired mercenaries. What a cheat. Ah, oh, well. Kinda landed too quickly, but that's okay because we're just gonna shoot his face. Shoot them all. Yes, shoot the false, false prophet. Capture the mayor. Shoot the false prophet. He must die. Is he leading the charge? Where is he? No, oh, of course he's sitting in his little Vatican castle. What it, whatever he has there. He's, he doesn't have a castle. I do know that. But still, he's just sitting there, shivering in fear. For the Emperor of Imperium Romania eggs after him. Does that also mean that... Oh, yes. The, pa the Pope will become our vassal, which means we get everything here, including Rome. It is great! Aww. Just about as this happens. Could have stole a second anti-Pope. Wait, what happens if we... Depose. Can we depose the antipope? Ourselves? Just say we don't want to control him? Interesting. Request his excommunication. <laughs> oh my god. So, does this mean that everyone... Yes, religious head Pope Evaristus II. So everyone within our realm is following the guy. But they still follow Pope Constantine, the false prophet. The false puppet. 73% already, well, almost won. Cut their heads off. And you just clear the prisons out a little bit. <laughs> From the enemy county. Nobody will object. No mercy for the wicked. This war with Italy is still going on? Really? Oh. Yeah, he hired another uh, mercenary camp. Mercenary. Well, he can hire them almost indefinitely. As long as the mercenary camps do exist. Let's see. Military, mercenaries. Yeah, he hired the biggest... He keeps hiring the biggest ones. 
Let's just go and assault his holdings. I'm pretty sure we, ju we just won at this point. It's easy. Anti-king... Hell yeah. What? Anti-king... Hell yeah. Members seek to restore papal authority in Imperium Romania by installing the King of Cyprus on the throne, deposing any antipope, and passing the papal investiture law. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Anti king, anti pope. Hmm. Funny. God will know that I support the church. The proper church. <laughs> Surely it wouldn't hurt to ensure that you're in the monk's prayers. Yeah, it wouldn't. <sighs> Seriously, you're still at war? <clears throat> Alright, well, we're not going to see Baghdad anytime soon. The duchy, that is. Oh well. That's not my problem, that's uh, Creeping Guy's problem. Oh, he embarked on the boats and left. He left his city unguarded. What an idiot. <coughs> Alright, let's march on to the Rome. Oh, we'll do one anyway. So, lose 100 prestige. He abdicates to Pope Evaristus II. Which means that he himself, yeah, he would want to, he would, I need him to come to my court. All of his money will just disappear. I need to imprison him. Well, we get, we gain the papacy though, so that's great. And now we have only one anti-pope. The true pope, of course, is here, my vassal. And faction should disappear, this one. Apparently, de jour claim a protium for our Pope, since he owns the Archbishopric. Um, all right, I could do that. <laughs> now. The anti-papacy of Pope Evaristus has ended. Hmm. Um, the papacy. History. So Constantine, let's mark him as a special interest. How can we get this guy in our court? In which courts are you? You're leading troops in the Straits of Otranto, and now you are at court in Capua. So you run away to Capua, into the Kingdom of Sicily, could request his excommunication. Opinion of Count Imbre, as he likes the Count. And if he dies, then his liege will inherit the money. He's got 170,000 gold! Get over here, you scrub! No reason to move. If I arrange marriage with my courtier. Unimportant. How do you call her unimportant? Yeah, you are not interests. You're not of special interest to me. Although, well. Wouldn't that mean that the Pope gets all the money now and all that jazz? His heir is Bishop of Merseburg. <coughs> hmm. 
progress my claim plus 100. Yes, <laughs> my liege. <laughs> well, at least we now automatically can get any divorces we want. <coughs> That's super cool. Strong claim in the bishopric of Heraclea. Yeah, he lost that bishopric. Well, he doesn't need it anymore. Where was he? Heraclea. Well, somewhere. I think. That's it. That's the one. Yeah, we can't, still can't do that. Ah, I wanted his money so bad. <laughs> can't quite afford to pay him this much. So if he dies now, then his count, <coughs> this count will inherit, right? We need to claim that county. Maybe. Right. I have a divorce here. I'll be right back in just a bit. In just a bit. If we wanted to, we could install a new anti-pope. Wow. That's pretty darn interesting to find out. Also, oh yeah, we're already at war with the with this guy, with the Kaiser. <coughs> I wish I could get him. Hmm. Any ideas on how to get him, chat? Come on, guys, I know you have some... You have plenty of ideas. Hey, while we're here, we might as well go to war with Sicily that thing. Two counties, okay, got it. Two county duchy. <laughs> Still didn't spend his money. I guess we're gonna wait a couple months before his uh, economy. Recalculates because it still says that he's spending money when in reality he isn't. Nothing other than taking Capua. Well, that's what I thought, really, but also this guy is a double count. It's not that simple. He's also got the county down here, so even if you take Capua, there's no guarantee that. Um, Got any unmarried sisters, daughters? Not quite. Not that I know of. Of course, I could break betrothal with Osporus, but no. This was married. Jack still doesn't quite have anyone. Found a suitable wife. That's, she's not being genetic traits, but that's okay. Maybe, uh, cousins? Or, uh,. Let's see. I mean, I have plenty, plenty of kin. My niece. Can I, uh... No, I can't invite her to court, can I? This woman is already married. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> okay, insist on insist. And we don't have any unmarried sisters or daughters. Barony for some reason is independent here. Surrender vote? Surrender vote. Not really a vote, but you know what I mean. Q 
counterclaim, stack them. That's gonna be the end of the war. Just quickly reclaim that while we can. While we're while we are here still. Move to Rome. Rome has enough for the force limit. Hmm. Taking cup one. Where is he? Can't even find him actually. Oh, there he is. Constantine de Polistine. De Polizine. Birth name Spinetto. Well, if I do assassinate him, the Count of Capua inherits the money. And if he dies, this guy, heir to the County of Capua, what laws do you run? Primogeniture. So you'll have both counties. Hmm. Chancellor of Sicily. It feels like taking Capo is the only, only possible solution here. So we're gonna fold that. everything myself. Sheer revolt. Oh yeah, we gotta go deal with that. I'm gonna leave Sicily alone for now then. Besides, if I do claim wars, <clears throat> then it's not really gonna solve the issue because I'm just gonna get the titles. I'm not actually going to inherit the courts, will I? They'll just keep running. No, I need a way to lure him. Lure him into my court. Maybe if I kill Count Count Imre. So he is where? He's at court in Montreal, Palermo. He is here. <coughs> we send our spy master, our trusty, trusty spy master, Noah, on a mission. Did I send him? There we go. Trust this trusty spy master. Send him to assassinate, and he dies. Donut, a new count. Oh wait, what? Where's con? Okay, apparently he just inherits the money too. Um. Eh? Did you die while we were waiting? I think he died while we were waiting. That was quick. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> this guy now has 171k. Keep killing him. Yeah, let's try keep killing him. Might not be the best idea ever, but I, I'm really curious what happens to all this money. Let's keep track of him so we know where he's, who his heir actually becomes. Prince Thomas of Imperium Romania, yeah? Unlanded, un unmarried. <laughs> Princess Cecile, might as well. Titles. There's a lost for eh? Well, at least we get that claim. Strong claim in the county of Capua. And now it's even worse because if I take the titles from this guy, then I, then he will just get away with the money. He will never join my court as well. 
I need something like the jour claim on that thing so that he just becomes my uh, my uh, vassal, but that is simply impossible if I don't usurp the kingdom or claim it. Nah, there's no way I claim that. Capua, no claimants. Can I get a claim on the kingdom itself? Oh, he's a bloody bogomilist, of course. He doesn't follow the Pope. Oh, wait. Does this mean that I can get claims? From the Pope now? No, it doesn't seem like it. Can I request invasion now? Ah. Try marrying your son to one of the Count's daughters for a claim and possible inheritance and then banish her. Hmm. Marrying to one of the Count's daughters and possible... Mm, hope for an inheritance? Could arrange a betrothal. We, would, we don't have uh, available kin. Kinsmen. No kinsmen available so far. So it's a tricky situation we end up in. And our Pope is not making as much money as the previous Pope did. Well, maybe, I don't know, maybe he will. Maybe he will. We still are planning to kill him. No question about that. We're insignificant. Did we win the revolt? Yes. Send our men home. While we think about this. We need to proselytize, probably, still. Yeah. Send him, like, here. It's a huge bank. Huge bank and I want it. I want the bank. Uh, look at this silly count. Imagine if he's gonna spend all of his bloody money. He's got a claim on this county, by the way. Inheritable. Ooh, inheritable. <laughs> oh, seriously, Manipura. Should probably combine the armies. Silly, silly me. Right, let's go. <laughs> He's a Chancellor of Sicily. He's at court in Montreal. Montreal. Oh, we could buy out the Spy Master of Capua. Yep, sure thing. Religious differences. Wait, could I excommunicate anyone I want? Where's your religious head? Pope Evaristus. <laughs> I can force inheritances. With that. Ascanian, Ascanian, Ascanian. Scavalkin succession. Ugh, disgusting. Mauritanian Liberation Revolt. Yeah, Italy's having troubles. Dum, 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 da, dum, dum, dum. Look out below, yeah, you die. 
Okay, please succeed. I want to see what happens next. <laughs> right, we can move the guy. Let's move him to this other holding. Like, eventually, he's gonna run out of airs, right? Statistically, this should happen. Not even statistically, but it's just like by elimination, quite frankly. Quite frankly. Gnatic, gnatic, primogeniture. He's got a lot of bloody children and siblings. Ugh. Yeah, 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 we won. Hooray for us. Just have to try again. Damn! Damn it! Mm. Alright, let's just assassinate him. I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait, I said. It's not helped my reputation. Right side, it did maim. Just kill him already. Finally. He blabbed out, blabbed out my name. Okay, so this guy now has the money. Can cancel the plot because the guy's dead. 231% still on that plot. We'll try this one. Get out of here. Counter assassination. Yeah, welcome back, Thomas. And I die. Long live Emperor Jack. Well, I just asked for it, now did I? Children lack a guardian. Usporus. Twelve years old, educate child. Uh, yeah, I guess you will do. Oh, snap! Uh, we're, we are after this cash. This is like payday. We're trying to get the money. Man, I'm trying to get the money. We also have Pope as our vassal because we won the war against the anti-pope. Oh, apparently we're rivals with the you know, with the bastard. Oh my god. Duke Folke of Kerson. is actually the best. Alright. Mm. Why, why am I checking religion? Yeah, we need Fabriki claims on this. Still. King of Syria will be training my troops. Why am I at war with the King of Jerusalem? Whoa, 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 guys. I think we've run to a misunderstanding here. I can't be at war with my own vassals. There we go. Everything's figured out. Figured itself out. Uh, we could uh, choose to become Paragon of Virtue. Yeah, it's going to be simple enough. What else is there? The Mesni's too big. Nine out of eight holdings. I guess we're going to give out, give away one or more counties. Didn't I tell you to kick the Italians about? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Grant you another county. Dear pretender and claimant. Get out of here with your claims. But, we have the Pope, Thomas. We've got the Pope. We installed an anti-Pope and then uh, fought the war with the false prophet. False puppet. False puppet. Unfortunately, we lose all our claims that we have already fabricated as a previous character, but that doesn't matter. Not quite, because claims are just, you know, easy to come by. So this guy, where is he? Reigning in Tiano. Let's send our spy master. Oh yeah, we didn't finish appointing people. Collect. <coughs> Goodbye, Kikwin. Good night. I'm gonna use <coughs> the King of Cyprus here. The court chaplain. <coughs> Proselytize. And you were gonna send to build a spy network in Capua. So that we can kill the boy. This will not help my reputation. We might actually die right now. Right, he died under suspicious uh, circumstances. But there's a new count with another 168k. <coughs> How long is this going to continue? For a long time. 
Not sure if it's efficient then. It's really inefficient. <laughs> okay, I should probably stop doing that. Please don't tell me I die. Like right away. Do I? Don't I? I don't, please don't tell me I don't. Please tell me I don't die. Okay, nobody's come f for my head yet, so I suppose I did not die. That's a that's good news, very good news. Seriously, can't do anything about the Duke Noah, the bastard of Calabria, because. <coughs> He's just a rival of ours, we can't do anything about him. So King Prince Adalbert, are you at war with someone yet, or, or what, uh, what's going on here? Why are you my direct vassal? Count of Hama, Prince of Syria. You want him, right? Transfer vassalage. Yeah, I don't want him. Get out of here. Not dying is always a good thing. Yes, it is, indeed. I like not dying. Duke of Arabia, let's send... Uh, Let's make him a seneschal and send him a gift. King of Croatia. Don't have the money. Alright, so far so good. So far so good. It's a huge... Uh, huge uh, faction for King Ebon. Because he's a bastard like that. And no, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna join your war, sorry. I know it's gonna be a long and bloody struggle. It's been like that already for a long ass time and scientists confirm that a long ass time is an actual term it means a very long time alright make the bank what's the empires of the world looking like at the moment well the Aztec Empire got beaten back quite a bit by Catholics, we got back Aquitaine, Brittany took a bit of uh, Astorius, Portugal survived the invasion, and uh, they are, uh, they've got this part over here, then um, Italy got a piece of that thing from the Aztecs too, Majids are getting wrecked by a uh, host war, and the Muayfazite revolt, like they can't do anything about that. They're about to lose the kingdom to an Ibadi revolt. Abbasids secured Arabia. Uh, Daihukids are about to kick their shit in because they've just invaded for Mesopotamia. They're like the Abbasids of the 867 start. They have tons of troops and they're invading the shit out of everyone. I don't like them. Golden Horde. Ilkhan is almost dead. Um, India is just being India. Golden Horde is there, Ross, everything else is pretty much the same. Yeah, there's a revolt in England. We also got the Papacy, but you already know that. Still trying to provoke this bloody emirate of Baghdad, but... Oh, I went, I went temperate. Oh, I didn't get temperate. Emperor Jack of Imperium Romaniae. <laughs> Like the idea. Pinion. Hey! I'm your. You're my vassal! Stupid Pope! Here, have money. No, wait. Know what's happened to Ireland? I don't know. Apparently, England's inherited parts of it. It happens, not a big deal. Bulgarian revolt. Bulgarian. He should love us. I mean, we control him. The antipopes anti love you. Why don't he love us? Free investiture. Free investiture. It's at the same time it's plus ten and minus thirty. That's funny. Well, we might as well switch to papal, as seeing as we control the pope. 
that should improve his opinion of us slightly. For some reason there's still free investiture there. Not sure why. Those bo those popes ain't loyal, yeah, you're right. They are not loyal at all. <sighs> George is getting wrecked, absolutely wrecked by a revolt to lower Grand Authority. Again? Or it's the same revolt? I don't know. Four wars now. Yeah, we're not seeing. We're not gonna uh, usurp the M rate anytime soon. Well, in any case, I'm pretty sure that that's gonna be it for the stream and this episode today. So, thank you guys for watching. We're gonna figure out how to get the money later, I suppose. Or other time. Oh, God. Have a nice day, YouTube viewers.